Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. It's Champions League week. Nothing is more exciting than this. It's the greatest competition in the world and we can put the disappointment of Saturday evening in Newcastle behind us as we jet off to Porto. We will be going, we'll be follow our journey. We'll be on Snapchat, we'll be on Twitter, we'll be on YouTube. Make sure that you're following because it's going to be so exciting. And if you haven't got a ticket, come along with us. Porto are a fantastic club, you know, they've got a great pedigree in this competition and there's a lot of overlaps between the clubs. Jose Mourinho, of course, it's the place where he won his first Champions League medal, uh, so he'll be itching to go back and uh, show them exactly what they're missing. I'm sure they'll give him a great uh, reception because he did wonderful thing things for that football club. Also going to be very interesting to see if Radamel Falcao gets a look in. I'm not sure he will, uh, you know, Diego Costa is a shoe in to play in my opinion, but Falcao was unplayable during his time at this club, so he'll be itching to play and uh, have a, I think he's got a great rapport with the fans there, so it'll be very interesting to see if he gets a look in. But he certainly wouldn't make my starting 11. There'll be another video for my starting 11, so let me know on that video exactly what you think and who you think should start. Something else is very interesting. This is a story that I find fascinating and I'm absolutely exhilarated by it. So please, if you know anything about this, because I don't have a great in-depth knowledge of it, I've done some reading, but let me know your thoughts. It's the situation I'm referring to is Ike Casillas versus Jose Mourinho. Very, very exciting, interesting story. And it stems from their time at Real Madrid together. I think that the story goes something along these lines. Mourinho was, and Real Madrid were at loggerheads with Barcelona, culminating in a 5-0 defeat to them. There was a, an incident on the pitch, there was a melee, there was a fight really. And after the game, Jose was furious, was completely furious with Casillas for reaching out to Xavi. He, sent, he phoned him, made a phone call, and this phone call was seen as a white flag for Mourinho and it completely destroyed their relationship. They've both been very cagey about what they say since. They, they, neither one of them give concise, clear-cut opinion on the other one. But it's fair to say that Mourinho and Casadas hate each other. So I'm very interested to see how that plays out. Again, please, comment below, let me know what you think of this story because I think that Mourinho basically sees Casadas as a bit of a grass, and nobody likes a grass, do they? I think that I think Casillas has a very good relationship with a journalist, and a, and a team sheet was revealed. Fascinating. I love skullduggery. I love all the sort of dark magic in football. So please let me know if you know anything about that one. More about our game. We're off to the Stadio de Dragão. Uh, I've been there before. It's a great place. Uh, I went there in. I was there actually in 2004 when England played. Uh, it was a brilliant, brilliant uh, tournament, 2004 Championships. So um, looking forward to going back, really. Chelsea, unsurprisingly, our, our away support is fantastic in this competition and we've sold out our away end. I think there are a few tickets left uh, in the home end, but we have sold out. So sing up, boys. I can't wait to be there. And uh, yeah, it should be good because it, we have a real chance here. This is, this is a really good opportunity. Porto drew their first game with Kiev. We obviously smashed Tel Aviv. So if we can beat Porto, we really will open up a gap on the team. I'd see Porto as being our closest challenger to finishing top of the group. So if, we can, if we can open up a five-point lead over them after two games, we really are in the driving seat. So we have such a big opportunity, we have to take it. Really looking forward to it. Um, let me know your thoughts below. Do you feel like we can win? And as I say, make sure you follow us there. We will, uh, we'll be going and my team sheet will be up on the next video. So comment on that one, let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, why not click the subscribe button right now? Can't wait. See you over there. I'm actually buzzing to get like 2 2. Like, yeah. it's actually a really good result considering we went 2 0 down. And I just thought it was all over, but it's really good that we got 2. It is two as well. Result. Who do you think of the key players that changed the game today?